Hello, this is Lynn McNamee from Lone Armadillo Marketing, and this is the first of our video blogs. So uh, thanks for joining, and a few little refinements to our lighting we'll keep working on, but thanks for joining in. So getting right into it, what's the first tip that I have to share? Well, I want to make sure when people are developing their marketing plans that they're really considering the three key pieces, which is advertising, marketing, and public relations. So what do we mean by each of those? So advertising is really that, hi, we're here. Uh, if people don't know you exist, there's no reason that they're going to buy from you. So if you think of a magazine, for example, inside cover, there's an ad advertising a truck. That's just advertising, make people aware. A billboard, for example, an ad in a newspaper, those are gonna be ads. If you have public relations, that's going to be, say, a placed story or uh, coverage within a newspaper written by a third party. So the whole world of public relations, before everyone starts jumping down my throats, um, public relations has been evolving. A number of things that used to be in the public relations field now have been subsumed into marketing. Um, although different agencies, different individuals will still continue to put those in different buckets. For example, uh, promotions around cause marketing. Again, a bias I admit towards marketing, um, but a number of if you're involved at like a um, fundraising event, is that PR, if, is that marketing? Um, those lines can be blurry, but you just wanna make sure that you are uh, making sure you're trying to cover the different areas. So my area of expertise is really around marketing. So while we do do advertising and public relations and when we develop plans, we make sure we are 100% absolutely covering those. The thing that I love most about marketing is that it's really about relationship. What's the back and forth? And so I caution as you're developing your marketing plans that you really think about marketing as that relationship. It's not speaking at people. It's not as I refer to spitting, which is what a lot of people's social media strategies are, if you will. But it's really building a relationship. And if you think about what matters in a relationship, it's trust, it's listening, it's being open-minded. And so, especially with all the user-generated content and all the opportunities for people to share their own opinions, brands and companies and corporations and individuals, we should be open to hearing what people think. And that can help us further refine our message, our products, our quality, all the things that really in a business relationship will build that good relationship. So hope you found this helpful. And if you have things you'd like me to uh, address, would be more than happy to, please reach out to lynn at lonearmadillo.com and look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care.